still don't know why I, why I whistle doing intros to these videos. I'll have to figure that out some point in time. Hey, here's something that always pissed me off, and I knew this was an early age. You know people told you have to keep an open mind? Everybody on Earth, specifically English speakers, has been told or instructed, and there's many posters that would probably hang in your, in your school saying, keep an open mind. And here's why that's BS. Well, it's about 80% BS. Um, I used to skydive, and it was to say, you know, like parachutes only work when they're open. And I, I've got thousands of skydives underneath my belt, by the way. I've even uploaded some videos of me skydiving wearing a helmet camera back in the day when I was skinny, right? To say, well, parachutes, you know, just like your mind, only work when open. Well, let me tell you something. No parachute, whether it be a circular old army parachute or a square design, which is a ram air type uh, open cell, semi-closed open cell design, they are, none of them are completely open. If they're completely open, you would actually plummet like a rock and you would die. The same thing with the circular army parachutes. They are partially closed design. They both decelerate you, but they allow air to pass through because they discovered a long time ago that when they actually, when they first started designing parachutes, that when you closed off all the air, the parachutes would snivel and or collapse. And when they did that, you died. So they don't work perfectly when they're closed and they absolutely don't work when they're totally open. Parachutes are not fully open. That's not how they work. The dumbest people that are caught in sick cults, those are the people that had the most open minds. You know? You want to have an open mind like a spaghetti strainer? And then that means they're open to nonsense, bullshit, uh, cult, brainwashing, every form of evil. When you see somebody in a cult, you can see that, and it, you should do this at some point in time, and I did this at an early age, you can see that they had a really, really open mind. And that open mind was filled with nonsense, BS, and brainwashing. Everybody's mind, if it has a modicum of wisdom, and of course there's no specific empirical measure for the statement of a modicum of wisdom, should be both partially open, there's no percentile, but somewhere around like 30% open, and 70% closed. Kind of like if you want to go to a concert, you know, you actually have to present a ticket and they have to be sure that uh, you're a valid entry. Like if a concert was perfectly open, you know, the bleachers, you get overpacked and everybody would start riding or uh, the, the maximum capacity would be quickly reached. And then the bleachers would collapse underneath the weight and there'd be chaos and death. It's the same way a person's mind works. Next time somebody tells you that you need to have an open mind, remind them that an open mind is dangerous, is evil, is the basis for brainwashing and self-corruption. Nobody should have an open mind. When someone says you should have an open mind, that is a de facto declarative statement that it should be open, kind of like barn doors, you know? Now... <clears throat> I don't know, you could live in a perfect country where you never have to worry about uh, closing your doors, but I don't know of anybody that leaves their car unlocked or leaves their house perfectly opened and unlocked. You know, if next time when someone tells you you need to have an open mind, it's like, do you, do you leave your house unlocked when you leave to go on a vacation? No, but you want me to leave my mind open to... And of course, there are a lot of evil scumbags in the world that course want to steal from you and they want to rob you of your faculties they want to dominate you and do things to you or they want you to do things for them and they want to fill your mind with BS and nonsense or they want you to give away all your money and join their sicko cult an open mind as a declarative statement like keep it open you know just open up the doors and walk away is evil is stupid is unwise. Um, I've, I don't know how many thousands, and every one of you too has heard that statement so many times in life. Probably thousands and thousands of times, just like I've heard it thousands of times. An open mind is not a good thing. It's stupid to have an open mind. It's incredibly stupid.
because there are an X number of percentage of evil people in the world that will see that your mind is perfectly open. Really? You're going to sell me... <laughs> you're going you're gonna to sell me a deed to the Eiffel Tower? You remember about, what was it, back in the 60s or 70s or something like that? It was in the 80s. There was this uh, glut of people selling. There were all these certificates uh, printed out. They're fancy looking. It's like the deed to the Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah, yeah, man, you know, for a few thousand dollars, you can literally own the Brooklyn Bridge and, you know, you can get your money back. <laughs> There's all these people, open-minded people. Really? Yeah, that sounds like a pretty good deal for 5,000 bucks. There's all these people, like hundreds, that bought a deed <laughs> to the Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> There's some people actually printed them up for the Statue of Liberty. So here's the deed to the to uh, Ellis Island. Not Ellis, was it Ellis Island? Whatever that little island on the Statue of Liberty. So it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, my, I inherited it from my grandfather. I technically own it, so you know you could sell it to the government, make some money. There are a lot of people with really open minds that uh, paid a lot of money for the deed. <sighs> There's so many humans that believe such extreme nonsenses and they want to fill your mind with the same BS that their minds are filled with. Um, people believe in all sorts of stuff and most of it's crazy nonsense. I've always said for countless years now that any words that follow the first two words, I believe, is 99.99% .99 nonsense, BS, and should not be regarded. The first two words in a nonsensical, illogical, unwise, unintelligent statement begin with, I believe. <laughs> the ancient Pali word for that is srada. Yeah. Don't have an open mind. If you have any wisdom at all, or you actually cherish your well-being, do not have an open mind. Likewise, do not have a uh, totally closed mind either. I'm not saying you should have a closed mind. But you know what is more dangerous? A totally closed mind or a totally open mind? A totally closed mind, even though it's not a great thing, is far, far safer and is better prepared for the future than one that is totally open. You're in for danger. You're in for danger. Because people that can get in, they can do a lot of harm. But if you have a, a structure, in this case the mind, where there's no entrance, in other words it's totally closed, that means the contents, whether they be good or bad, i.e. corrupt or not corrupted, are safe because there's no entry point. So between totally closed and totally open, totally closed is way better, but I'm not advocating having a closed mind. Um, it's just a pet peeve of mine. I've spent so many years hearing people talk about having an open mind, and uh, people that preach that are de facto idiots. I'm sorry. You can hate this video if you like, but I'm right. And that's all that matters to me. So thank you. Barsoivam spesiven, as the uh, say in Latin, lux everetas.